Coach, how proud are you of your girls to come out as strong as they did in a big game like this? Oh, it's, a, it's impressive. That's what I said. There's a lot of tears in there now, but they have to keep this in perspective. So they're 15, 16 year old kids who got to be make the sweet 16. You know, they, they, got, they got up to the 10th ranked in the state, and they did that on their own. We started the season off ranked three in the state, but that was living from the other team. When we slipped out of it and they got back in it, they did that. And that's what they have to take from this. The learning experience is going to pay so much dividends for this group. Mm -hmm. And then whenever the Fisher girl from, from Kennedy Catholic started taking those three-pointers and there was a timeout in there, what did you say to the girls at that point? I said we had to close out. We had to get out there quicker. But we knew we had to cover inside. We were covering down, so we had to pick our poison. Uh, they hit a good streak, Garrett, and that hurt us. I said in our turnovers, we had 19 turnovers, and that hurt us. But that you're going to have, again, a game like this, there's a lot of jitters out there with these kids. So those, between the two culmination of things, that's what cost us. And they came out strong on Rena and kept the ball away from her pretty much for the entire first half. So what adjustments did you make at halftime with well, that? Well, I said everybody had to get involved. We had, whoever had the open shots, we had, this, we had to take it. You know, Mary Tranberry's one. You know, Emily Oswald hits the last five points. And I mean, that's what we have to do. That's something we have to get better at over the next couple of years. And it's hard at this point not to kind of look ahead, but you have all these girls coming back, or at least the ones that started in the state playoffs. You're only losing one starter from this year. So how does it feel knowing that you're going into the offseason like that? Oh, we're, we're very happy. But, you know, we're going to yeah, take a, yeah. a month off, and we go back to work. So we usually start the end of May, the beginning of April, I mean, and so these girls get a month, less than a month off. And we're going to start it back again. And how much did you know about this Kennedy Catholic team and kind of were what they expected? Is that what you expected? Yeah, they did exactly what, what we had on paper and what we had on film. Well, we we studied them hard. We knew what their tendencies were. I said, other than about six minutes there, we we we, were, we held our own. We were there, but those those couple big shots they hit there that hurt. Right. And whenever they started getting a little bit flustered, whenever your defense was pressuring, did you think you guys had a chance at that point? Yes, it did. We really did. I said, we keep this game in a one point game. We get down to the end. The same thing as scoring out. We'll pull it out, but we have to keep it close. When they got to ten, that just. That, that was too much. Mm -hmm. And maybe just a couple final thoughts about the season as a whole. I mean, you kind of thought maybe you would have a rebuilding type year this year. They go, they win, you know, the Heritage Conference Championship. They go win the District 6. So how's it feel? Oh, it feels great. I said that every, every couple of weeks something else amazing these kids do. I said what they accomplished is unbelievable. There's no one can tell me honestly that they thought they could make Sweet 16. Mm -hmm. People didn't think we could win the conference, and they did that. I mean, they, they're just impressive kids. All right, Coach, thanks. Thank you.